hi friends let us now discuss about the cubital fossa cubital fossa is this part this is humerus this is radius and ulna this part is cubital fossa that is in front of the elbow joint so now uh, let us see from the skin so we are coming from left right to left like this see so first what are we doing is we are removing the skin then what can we see as you know we can see the superficial fascia what is the superficial fascia contain the superficial fascia now contains veins yeah this is a vein this is blue so this is vein the vein goes like this this is basilic vein and the other vein is will be like this this is cephalic vein now you must have got a little idea that this is medial and this is lateral right okay now this is basilic vein this is cephalic vein connecting this both there is a vein that is median as it is cubital fossa so it is cubital vein so this median cubital vein connects the cephalic vein and the basilic vein okay these are present in the superficial fascia along with nerve there is there are two nerves mainly this is medial side so this is medial cutaneous nerve of arm what is it medial cutaneous nerve of fore arm and here there will be other nerve that is lateral cutaneous nerve of fore arm okay medial cutaneous nerve of fore arm lateral cutaneous nerve of fore arm it gives a branch like this this medial cutaneous nerve this lateral gives a branch like this so all these structures are present on the superficial fascia along with bicipital aponeurosis that is aponeurosis of biceps muscle so this is present so this is the present in superficial fascia we remove the skin after removal of skin in the cubital fossa cubital fossa is nothing but this region in this region if you remove the skin then what you will be seeing is the this superficial fascia superficial fascia what does it contain it contains two veins one is the basilic vein which is present medially and the other is the cephalic vein which is present laterally connecting the basilic vein and the cephalic vein there is a vein that is median cubital vein and towards the medial side there is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm median cutaneous nerve of forearm and towards the lateral side there is lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm so this is along with the what is it this is bicipital aponeurosis green color one these are seen in the superficial fascia of the cubital fossa has these are seen in the superficial fascia this forms the roof of the cubital fascia roof of the cubital fossa okay now if you remove this superficial fascia you have removed it then what do we see deep fascia okay we have removed the deep fascia too superficial fascia deep fascia everything is removed deep deep fascia this bicipital aponeurosis is mainly found in the deep fascia next what do we, after removal of deep fascia what do we see we will see the muscles nerves and vessels that are present deeper so let us first see the muscles so what muscles are found here one minute let me show you yeah so one muscle which is the most important is the pronator teres which you will be learning in the arm forearm lecture so this is medial and this is lateral the origin of the pronator teres is medial epicondyle that is medial flexor origin so it comes like this and it goes laterally what is this muscle this muscle is pronator teres what is this muscle this is pronator teres and the other muscle which is most important is brachioradialis 
peculiaris takes its origin from lateral supracondylar line or lateral supracondylar ridge and then it goes downwards all the insertions and everything you'll be learning in the next lecture mainly most probably so this is see this both unite so what is it this is brachio radialis see now the line joining these two epicondyles this is one epicondyle lateral epicondyle this is medial epicondyle if you join this line this will forms the base of the cubital fossa so this triangular area is the cubital fossa so what is cubital fossa this is a triangular hollow which is present in front of the elbow it's a triangular hollow space which is present in front of the elbow so this is cubital fossa so medially cubital fossa is bounded by pronator teres laterally it is bounded by bicep the brachioradialis and roof roof it forms the skin and in the superficial fascia the epicephalic vein basilic vein median cutaneous nerve of forearm lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm and bicepital aponeurosis and still the floor what are present on the floor on the floor you will be seeing mainly two muscles one is what is this muscle you can easily guess by now this is nothing but brachioradialis sorry brachialis this is brachioradialis right this is brachialis which takes its origin from the superior lateral and superior medial surfaces lower superior lateral and superior medial surfaces of humerus so brachioradialis and the other new muscle which arises from supinator fossa present in the radius is supinator muscle so this forms the floor these two muscles brachioradialis and supinator muscle forms the floor these are exposed when you remove all these okay and the contents now you got it the boundaries floor roof and everything so now let us come to the contents of cubital fossa what are the contents it's very simple the main mnemonic that we can know is mbbs now you are all learning mbbs right so mbbs from the medial side so median nerve is first one yeah so median nerve m is what is it median nerve medial to lateral one is median nerve and then what is b brachial artery i said brachial artery comes like this down and it divides into two by dividing into one is ulnar artery and the other is the one is radial artery and the other is the ulnar artery the division of course at the neck of the radius so this is brachial artery brachial artery is b and now the next one is tendon of biceps brachii as you know biceps brachii muscle gets inserted into that uh, radial tuberosity so the tendon of biceps brachii muscle should run like this so this is tendon of biceps should be now the final one is s s is nothing but the superficial branch of radial nerve radial nerve gives two branches one is the deep branch and the other is the superficial branch so this is the superficial branch of radial nerve so this comes the s so these are the contents of the cubital fossa now in this lecture you have seen the boundaries of cubital fossa roof of cubital fossa floor of cubital fossa and the contents present in the cubital fossa the main mnemonic for contents is mbbs that is median nerve brachial artery biceps tendon of biceps and superficial branch of radial nerve all these are comes under cubital fossa now ends the lecture of cubital fossa okay then bye